Are you feeling anxious, stressed or depressed? Well, help is here at the click of a button. Following a study of mental health during the Covid pandemic, British psychology experts have discovered that some people aren't as happy as they used to be. In response to this news, the government has launched a new service to combat mental health issues. A key part of the programme is this clearly worded leaflet. It has been delivered by hand to addresses that look as if the occupants might be suffering from anxiety or stress. This includes houses where the bins have been left out on the wrong day, or where Waitrose deliveries are known to have been late on more than one occasion. Further research suggests that some people may not have reliable access to high-speed broadband. This can cause them anxiety, which is why the authorities have delivered this important message about mental health using the tried and tested method of putting leaflets through doors. If you are feeling anxious, stressed or depressed, this leaflet tells you clearly what to do. You just log on to the new interactive website and after you've answered a few simple questions about your ethnicity, sexuality, given your national insurance number and set up an account with a password, you'll be able to chat with a trained therapist. You don't need an expensive home computer to access this world-beating online service. You can get the app on any smartphone, as long as it has the latest operating system and is less than six months old. And, as not everybody in Great Britain has English as their first language, the Prime Minister has personally appointed a panel of experts in other languages, drawn from top English establishments, including Eton College and Balliol College, Oxford. With his own fluency in both Latin and Ancient Greek, Boris Johnson will play an active role in developing other language versions of this leaflet. Fellow team members include experts in Sanskrit, Anglo-Saxon and Cornish. And for any immigrants from Ceylon, Southern Rhodesia, Burma, most of Africa and all of India, they will be able to listen to a recorded version in which a minor member of the royal family reads the text very slowly and loudly. This method of communication was trialled and proved most successful during a 300-year world-beating pilot programme. And if you're blind or visually impaired, don't despair. You just need to set up an account, create a password and log on to this specially adapted mental health app. You can then choose the sign language option just by clicking on the little box in the drop-down menu. A sign language interpreter will then lead you through a series of questions about your mental health. For example, is anxiety stopping you from sleeping? If so, press 2. The team of volunteer online therapists are all experienced in related areas of therapy, such as lymphatic drainage, waxing, including the Brazilian variant, Botox, manicures and threading. They've all been on intensive online therapy conversion training courses that involve watching several back episodes of Frasier and answering a series of multiple choice questions about what they find irritating. And the trained therapists won't just tell you to get a grip, pull yourself together and get on with it. They will also tell you how much worse off than you their brother-in-law or cousin is. Laughing at other people's misfortune is a guaranteed way to cheer people up. But best of all, while you're waiting to be connected to your specially selected therapist, you can lift your spirits by singing or whistling along to what is now the most popular choice of music at socially distanced funerals. Some things in life are bad, they can really make you mad, other things will make you swear and curse. When you're chewing on life's gristle, don't grumble, give a whistle, and this'll help things turn out for the best. And always look on the bright side of life. Always look on the light side of life.